Hey guys, I'm Kate. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to be counting up how many books I own and of those, how many I've actually read. Now this all started because back in February 2019, I realized I had a problem, a book buying problem, a book hoarding problem, however you want to call it, which was only really a problem because I was running out of space and was keeping my precious display in my closet where it could be seen and appreciated by none including me. <laughs> and so as part of my wake up call, as part of this reckoning, I decided I needed to count up how many books I owned and of those books, how many I'd actually read. In February 2019, it was a very sad statistic. I owned 785. I thankfully do not remember how many of that 785 was actually in the closet. And frankly, I don't want to revisit that old video to find out. And of those 785 books, I'd only actually read 261, which was a 33.25% red ratio. And I pledged to myself that I would do better the next year. <laughs> Little did I know, of course, that the next year was going to be a pandemic and also that I would be moving into a house where I had more space and I bought these shelves. Now, of course, I'd gotten rid of a lot of books in between them. That was the whole shtick, right? I was going to face my book buying problem in the face and I was going to get rid of the books that I knew I would never read ultimately. My tastes had changed or I'd already read part of them and just didn't really like them and knew I wouldn't get back around to them. And so I donated them to the library. So moving into the house with the new shelves, I had less books, but also I had more space to fill up with more books. So in October of 2020, a whole year and a half later, I counted up my books again with the slight assurance that I would do at least a little bit better than the year before. And I did. I now owned 518 books and I had read 242 of them, which was a 46.72% read ratio. So while this was better, it was not quite what I what I'd hoped for. I honestly don't know what I'm striving for each time so much as that you know eventually I just want to be surrounded by books that I love and books that I would reread or maybe books that I would gift to someone else. Books I'd recommend yeah. So now it is time to figure out if in the third year of doing this I have improved my red ratio just even a little bit. <laughs> I will link down below both of the previous year's videos and I will say that I had a whole thing of making a like physical TBR shelf so that I would stop getting books from the library so much, you know, that I would actually read some of the ones I owed first and like mix it up with the library. Um, spoiler alert, uh, I, I still mostly read my books from the library. I don't know what it is. Is it the newness effect? Who knows? The best worst thing about the library, of course, is that, you know, I only go with the intention of picking up one or two and then I find myself coming home with 11 or 12 or 17. <laughs> but now it is time to uncover if my red ratio is looking a little bit better in 2021, the third year of keeping track of this. <laughs> just jumped. Now I've had my books organized in a rainbow manner before. I've also changed it away from the rainbow and come back. But basically the top four rows of the bookshelves are all fiction and the bottom one or bottom two in some cases are entirely non-fiction. That's really the only organization manner I have. So it's kind of fun to see what these stats end up being per shelf. If I had them organized in a different manner, I might be better able to tell if I read more of my fantasy books that I own or more of my travel non-fiction books or whatever else, you know, which my books that I buy do I actually read and keep? Um, so that might be something to consider in the future, but really I just like looking at the pretty rainbow shelves. <laughs> now, while I love having the stats, I do find that counting them up can occasionally be a little bit monotonous. So I enjoy a puppy and kitten distraction here or there. <laughs>
But eventually, of course, it's time to get back to work. The counting in the books can't wait forever. Also, of course, it's, you know, no joke counting up books, organizing all of this. It, it takes a lot out of you and sometimes you have to refuel with some coffee. <laughs> Now finally, aided by coffee, it was time to do some math. After counting up each of the stickies, putting into sections the books read versus the books owned, I ended up this year with 560 books that I own, so up from the year before, but 277 books that I've read, which is also up from the year before, and gives me my best read ratio yet at 49.46%. I can't quite round it to 50%, but I'm so fucking close. <laughs> oh man. So as I gave myself, you know, goals for the last year, what worked, what didn't work, I will say, you know, the, <laughs> the physical TBR did not work in part because I just fully transitioned it into rainbow. I do still have somewhat of a physical TBR over here, but it's mostly just library TBR as you saw. But as my hope for 2022 is to get more into booktube content, I'm really expecting that ratio to go up. And I do love the way my friend Jessica Williamson keeps track of her books and also Drinking by My Shelf, how she keeps track of it. So I'm thinking of doing something similar where it's just like a bucket of sorts and it's like make or break and you gotta either fucking read the book <laughs> or you're gonna donate it, you know? I need that bit of pressure, clearly. A fun, a fun bit of pressure. You know, I don't want it to be like a chore to do, but it's just like a fun reminder. It's kind of like making sure you try new restaurants and not always going back to your old favorites, old reliables. How do you find a new favorite if you don't try it? If you don't step outside that comfort zone, right? Especially because I already own the books. <laughs> I think there's something to be said for the library where I get to like take 17 books home with me at once. It kind of feeds into that book buying feel that I used to have. Um, so you know what? Credit where credit is due. I'm not buying quite as many books as before. I really do think I've held true to the only buying the books that I know I'm going to read and love, usually by authors that I've read and loved before, or books that I've read half of at the library and know I want to continue them kind of thing. So it's progress. But please do comment down below. Let me know if you have any guess for how many books you've read that you own that you own, that you've read, that you've read, that you own, whatever. <laughs> if you know your stats, I would love to hear them. If you're someone who has corralled book collection to a much smaller number over the years, I would also love to know that. Or if you're someone like me who likes to just display them if you have the space. Also, let me know what your favorite book that you've read this year is. And let me know what's been like the number one book on your TBR for the longest time. <laughs> Mine is Finishing Six of Crows through no fault of the book. But thank you guys so much for watching and here's to 2022. Bye.